Hello everyone, welcome to another how-to video. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to uh, have a remote controller for VLC without uh, buying any of the applications that you have on uh, smartphones that allow to do that. Uh, VLC by itself uh, already comes by default with a, a remote control system. So you don't really have to buy any applications. Um, I'm going to show you how to use it. So usually you launch VLC. And what you need to do is to go to preferences on tools, preferences, uh, go to the to the all system, and then on main interfaces you have to check box uh, on the web here. Uh, after you do what after you have enabled the web interface, um, you have to go to the Lua interpreter and select the password here. I'm going to put for example one two three four. I'm going to save and. Um, and this is just one of the interfaces that VLC has. You can interface with it via Telnet, you can uh, do all sorts of things, but the most basic one is just to use uh, a standard uh, web page. So what we have did, did now, at this point you probably have to close and open it again, just for the settings to take place. Um, and now you go to command prompt, you check your IP, uh, in my case is 192.168.1.11 and now you can go to a web page and put that IP 192.168.1.11 and port 8080 press enter and it will ask you for username and password and you put the password that you uh, filled in username is blank just put in a password in this case is 1234 login and bam you are you are in the remote controller of VLC. From here, you can uh, open your uh, your uh, browser stuff. Um, you have to double click to do things. I'm going to go to downloads, and I'm going to open uh, uh, a music that I'm uh, an upcoming music from uh, my net label. And right now, you can hear it playing. Okay. And uh, you can even pause it, you can skip ahead, play it, you can even set it to full screen and not full screen. Well, if it was video, it would be full screen. Uh, anyways, this is useful, um, but what's more useful is if you could do it on an iPhone. And it is quite useful, you just have to put it on the same network as uh, the same computer. So make sure you have, uh, you are in the same network. And then you just uh, open up the um, Safari and just put the IP here exactly the same as uh, as you did. I'm not sure if this will show. Yeah, you can see it here. Uh, you type the same uh, IP address uh, that of your machine 192.168.1.11 to points 8080. Your IP might be different, of course. You just have to put the IP of the machine itself. Uh, it will prompt you for a password, just the same as it did here. You fill it out, and then you have the system working here. I'm going to tell I'm pressing play. You can hear it playing. You can skip ahead. See, it's skipped. I can stop, and I can even browse stuff here and open it remotely. So if I was in the couch back there, I could just grab my phone from next to me, uh, open the file from here, and uh, open something else. Uh, let's see, I think I might have a movie here somewhere. Let's just test that real quick. Um, need to go back. Uh, downloads. Okay, something that might not get me in trouble. Uh, so, I don't know. Tokyo Go. Okay, so now I have Tokyo Go playing. I can maximize it, you see. And that's it. So you can do everything you want uh, from, from the remote controller here. You just have to know your IP address and put it here. Uh, make sure you use... Um, hard to figure out a password. Uh, if your network is public, um, uh, you should not have this service open all the time, otherwise other people can control your VLC. But if it's, you know, in your home, it's fine to use. So you can use it like this. Um, enjoy.
Take care. Hope it was useful. If you have any further questions, just uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, bye-bye. Take care.